World of Warships is an epic, action-packed naval battle. This is a game about warships in their purest form. It's about the ships of the first half of the 20th century. It's about combat between these multi-thousand ton monsters. So at the beginning of each battle, it may seem a little slower, especially if you're used to the, the speed of World of Tanks. Uh, you, you, know, you start the battle, you're cruising down in your little, little ship, and you're like, oh, this is so pretty and everything. And then all of a sudden, you have torpedoes that are being launched at you. You're being shot down by the battleship, the enemy battleship. You have planes flying all around you. And this, I mean, it really, really gets intense. And, and, all, and all of this is just in a matter, matter of a couple of seconds. So you really, really have to focus. And you, you know, it basically keeps you on the edge of your seat. Just imagine, if you will, a dozen battleships, each of which with 16-inch rifles slugging it out. Intermixed into that, the destroyers launching devastating salvos of lethal torpedoes. Then you add the third dimension, you look up and you find yourself on the receiving end of dive bombers, torpedo attack aircraft. Uh, and then up at the higher levels is even combat between the aircraft, between the fighters and other fighters, fighters and the attacking aircraft. Once you have this massive, complex battle of multi-dimensions happening at the same time, that's where you really start to see World of Warships becomes not just a case of clicking and shooting, it really does become a more strategic case of interactions and tactical thought. So there are going to be four classifications of ship available to us in the game. Your carriers, battleships, cruisers and destroyers. For example, with aircraft carriers, you can attack the enemy using bomb strikes, torpedo strikes, and you also have scout planes to find the enemy, and also fighter planes that will attack the enemy planes. The main class of vessel, of course, is going to be the battleship. Everybody knows what it looks like. I mean, we're on one now. Uh, the characteristic, iconic vessel of World War II. Of course, not the most significant, but this is one everybody thinks of. And in gameplay, it is basically, if you imagine in World of Tanks terms, it's a mouse with multiple SPGs mounted on it and it kind of cruises around at 30 miles an hour. Due to their blend of armor, speed and reasonably heavy firepower, cruisers are probably the most tactically versatile of all the ships in the game. Uh, they're well enough armed that you have to keep an eye on them as a battleship. Destroyers, they're the enemy of destroyers. A lot of them will carry torpedo armament as well, so carriers and battleships both have to uh, be significantly concerned. They're also fairly fast. They can apply their firepower at the most opportune time to disrupt the enemy as best as they can. Another ship type is the destroyer. Imagine a light tank that has quadruple KV-2 cannons on it. So basically what the destroyer does is it roams around really fast, it hides, and then it'll just attack you with its really, really awesome torpedo force. There are no submarines in the game. Believe me, we looked at it. It just doesn't fit with the gameplay. You've got these small things that are practically invisible, unless you happen to be within Aztec range, which back then wasn't all that long. They have devastating firepower, but when detected, let's say they're on the surface, they're gone immediately because they just have no survivability. There really wasn't any way of implementing it, so just for the sake of gameplay, yes, we understand how important the U-boats and the American submarine fleet were in World War II. We are not ignoring the historical reality behind it. It doesn't work in the game. There will be no submarines. A project like World of Warships can't be done simply on the basis of drones. Uh, well, I guess you could, but the quality wouldn't be the same. As a result, we actually sent a couple of expeditions. Uh, personnel from the development offices in St. Petersburg came over to the U.S. and we visited, I think it was about 12 ships uh, throughout the southeast and northeast of the U.S. And we visited everything from destroyers to battleships. Visiting real ships provides a lot of data and material for the game that we couldn't get anywhere else. When we see what the ships look like in real life, it helps us make the graphics authentic and closer to the real deal. I think this is very important to the gamers. When you see a ship with your own eyes, you realize it's not a picture or a model, but a monstrous steel machine which moved and fired its weapons. You come to understand the reality of it, and you get a feeling on what it should be like in the game.
Find out more about World of Warships at the developer's blog. The most up-to-date information about this project straight from the source.